Hello everyone, welcome to how to do it. In this video, we will see how to install MySQL in Windows 10. So let's get started. So to install MySQL, go to this URL dev.mysql.com slash download slash install. I'll provide the link in the description. So go ahead and click on download. Now it will ask us as to log in, but we can also click on no thanks and start our download. Okay, so the, now the download is complete, so we'll click it and open it. So I'll click on yes to allow the permissions. So I'll click on yes again. So now the installer is started. We can choose the setup type that we want to have. I'll go ahead and click on custom as we only need MySQL server and MySQL workbench. So I'll go to MySQL server and uh, select MySQL server 8. And then I'll go to applications and MySQL workbench. And I'll select MySQL workbench 8 and select it and then I'll click on next so we have two requirements for installing these two so for this we will have to go to the Microsoft website and download the Visual Studio so depending on your machine you can download the 64-bit architecture or 32-bit I'll down the 64-bit So now it is downloaded and I'll click on it to install. I'll click on agree and click on install. I'll select yes. Okay, so now it is installed successfully. I'll click on close. Now if we go back and then click on next again, we'll see that we don't have any other requirements. So we'll click on next and then click on execute. Okay, so now MySQL is downloaded. We can click on next to install it. So it is ready to install and we can click on execute to install. So it is now installed. Okay, so now MySQL server is installed. Now it is installing MySQL workbench. Okay, so now both of the installation are complete. So let's click on next. Okay, so it wants us to configure the MySQL server. We will click on next. Okay, so the configuration looks good. I'll leave it to default and click on next. Okay, so it asks us to use strong password encryption. So I'll click on next. Uh, so let's type in our new password for the MySQL. I'll type in my password. Okay. I'll add, I'll also add a user. Test all host db admin password. I'll type in my password. Okay, 
So now I have put my username as test. I have put the host as all hosts and the role as dbadmin and I have provided my password and I'll click on OK. So then I'll click on next. Okay, everything looks fine and I'll click on next and then execute. Okay, so now the setup is complete and then let's click on finish. Next and then finish. So now if we wait for a while, we can see MySQL workbench will open. Okay, so now MySQL workbench is open. So let's click on the local instance and the password that we set earlier. Click on save my password and click on OK. So now we have successfully installed MySQL. So this was all. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Thank you.